Eric Mwada with Mwada.com in response to a question on how to use the annotation tool if you are a subscriber to stockcharts.com all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom left of the chart and there is a section here to annotate and it's either you have an option of using Flash or Java so just click on that it's gonna bring up this pop-up tool and so you can use this to draw the lines and things of that nature initially you're gonna have to spend the time to know how to use the tool so a little bit of a learning curve but it's very easy and self-explanatory so you have the options to do a lot of things uh, create circles uh, all this type of good stuff so I would encourage anybody who's looking into this to spend some time looking at how to use this to fit your own personal preference so the tool is there you can use it uh, you can also use it to type things so you know you can type a lot of stuff that you want to use you can leave yourself some notes if that's the case it's whatever you want to do this is where you do it and last but not least you can click on the upload link once you click that it's gonna give you an option of saving it on one of your watch lists so you can do that you can change the name of the chart and so you can have up to 500 charts I believe per list you are watching so here I'll cancel since I don't want to save this one but this is where you can add your annotations and you can save them and you can track them and I believe there's a way you can actually save the chart without it populating so you can make this a static chart and I honestly don't remember how to do it but there's a way you do that if you want to make this a static chart there's a way you do that honestly I don't remember how but just go to the support section you should be able to find that answer the other question was how to change the range on the chart so you come here on this range here and there's gonna be a drop down menu you can come here and select start and end date so do that and right here you can decide let's say let's go we want to take a look at what happened in 2014 and then change here always remember to click the date because I notice if you don't click the date so let's go to January 1st click on January 1st there and then come here and change let's say December come to December December 31st click the date and then just update and you'll see that it's gonna so now the chart is showing us the period we had set which is January 1st and December 31st of 2014 so you can go back as long as stock charts has data for a stock for example I'm gonna change this to the Dow let's go to the Dow and I'm gonna just for the sake of the video here go to weekly update that and then I'm gonna come here to my range and we're gonna go back to so let's go to January of 86 you know what I'm gonna type this so watch this even though they don't give you the option here for the 80s I know they have the data so I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna go 1986 and then I'm gonna come here and probably 1990 or let's call it 1989 okay oops 89 and update and there you have it we have a weekly chart I believe for the Dow between that range that I just selected which is between 86 and 1990 so this can be used for a lot of your back testing it's a very nice tool I encourage anybody who is looking to improve on their technical skills to spend time back testing something that they want to use because the data is there it's up to us to use it to our advantage Eric Moore the good luck peace and blessings Woo!